Hi, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's video tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how I used the path tool in Art and Stitch to create a very fun pantograph. And I think you're going to be impressed with how easy this was to do. Okay, we're going to get started by creating a new file. So I will do File, New, and I'm going to do a quilting file for this and so I will say OK. And I am going to go ahead and show the grid and I am going to use a curve to draw the path. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit because I'm going to make a fairly long path here. So I'm going to start at minus 16 and I am going to um, weave up slightly and again I'll fix this later but I'm going to then weave back down and I think I'm going to end at the positive 16. So again it's a pretty long path um, but I like the fact that I don't have a lot of repeats on this one. And so then I'm going to use the reshape tool to clean up this line. And I do want my curves to be very, very gentle um, because I not only need to uh, use this as a path, but I also want uh, to be able to, once I put uh, my leaves on it, uh, be able for this to interlock very nicely. I think I'm going to delete that point. Okay, and uh, just maybe one more thing there. And once I've done this, I'm going to see what it looks like on a repeat. So I'm going to select that with the Select tool, and I'm going to do the repeat. And I don't really like that little bump there, so I'm going to go ahead and um, make some changes to that. And maybe I just need to make that just a little bit taller. Okay, let's try that again and do a repeat. And I think I like that a little bit better, so um, I'm not going to save that, but I'm going to cancel that. And then with the Select tool, I'm going into the Properties, and I'm going to save it with a pen length with a 0.4. And now with this, I'm going to select Tools, and I'm going to uh, select Save Design Path. Now, anytime I do a personal path, I like to start it with my name so I know which ones are mine versus which came with the program. And I'm going to call this Carrie Leaf Path. And I'll say Save. Now, what I'd like to do is um, actually delete this. And I'm going to zoom in for a minute and I'm going to create a basic leaf. And I'm going to use the curve tool. And I'm going to just do one, two, and for the third point, I'm going to use the control key on my keyboard, uh, which will make it a sharp point, uh, and then I will uh, go back. And once I've done that, I'll use my reshape tool to make it just a little bit skinnier. And I think I may even delete that particular point, but I can still round it. So now I'm going to use my uh, shape tool and I'm just going to rotate it slightly. So now I'm going to right click and I'm going to select Design on Path and I will find the Carry Leaf Path and I'm going to select the Alter and I like that. I think I'm going to put um, a few more leaves in, so I'm going to bring down the spacing a bit. And 
I'm going to then uh, select, um, I do want to select include path because I'm going to end up connecting this all up and I will select OK. Now I do want to test this as well by looking at the repeat on that. So I will repeat the design and I need to get these to uh, match up. So I'm going to put in a minus 1.5 and I'll do apply and it needs to be a little bit more. So I'll just uh, keep clicking on that and I think that looks good and let's see how the interlock works. I'm going to put in a minus 2 on that, do apply. I might want it a little bit more so maybe a 2.5 and again I just sort of experiment with that. Um, okay I really like that and so I'm going to uh, select OK and take a closer look. So um, I'm going to turn off my grid for a minute and I am going to uh, select uh, my, actually I'm going to use the reshape tool, select my line. Oop, I actually want the line, not the, okay let me just zoom in and actually that was very close so that actually looks really good. Um, I'm going to zoom out, uh, zoom in a bit and I might just make a couple of slight um, moves. So I'm going to use the select key. Uh, that actually selected it as a group so I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to ungroup that one. And so now I can select that and I'm just going to move that over just a bit, maybe just rotate it a bit. Um, so what I'm trying to get to is, is to um, make sure that the start and stop points look very consistent so it doesn't look like I have a very obvious start and stop uh, to, to this. And I like that so I am going to go into sequence view uh, actually I'm going to select the first one delete that and I'll delete the three and so now I'm back to just one segment and so I'm going to go ahead and select all of that uh, go ahead and recenter that and um, it is actually looking really good. If I needed to, I would have moved some of these to match up with the line. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the reshape tool on the line and wherever the leaf intersects, I am basically going to split the line. Now I'm not going to necessarily show you all of this on screen because it's just going to take a little bit too much time. But I'm going to go ahead and pause my recording. Okay, and now that I'm through splitting the line here, um, you can see that there's very small segments there. And now I need to connect everything up. So let me uh, zoom in and I'm going to just start at the end here. And um, actually I don't think I split that one line there. But what I want to do is, first of all, as I'm going down this path, I want to go from this line down to the, the curve on that side. And so let me just move that out of the way, move that out of the way, and I'm going to use the T key, which is used for tying, on my computer to connect these two. So I'm going to connect those. Um, I am going to right click on the ruler and I am going to um, turn on snap to anchors. I could have also used the S key to do that. So once this goes down and around I want this to connect up to that and I, again I use the T key to do that and then I just um, moved that in place and because I had snap to anchors on it's going to connect up, uh, connect that up. So again, I'm going to move that out of the way. Use the tie, uh, T key to tie, T key to tie, 
and then just move that back in place. And again, I'm going to continue that for the entire path here. Okay, once I've got this all connected, I'm going to draw a guideline. And I'm going to intersect that first point. And I'm going to right click on the ruler and I want to turn on snap to guideline. Uh, I'm going to turn off snap to anchors and uh, okay, I don't have snap to grid on. Okay, so I want to make sure that first point uh, is connected. Go to the last and make sure that's connected as well. So now what I can do is go ahead with the select tool, select it, and I'm going to try the repeat again. Oops, I must not have something connected. So let me go ahead and zoom out. And oh, I missed a, missed a connection there. So I will use my T key and get that connected. And I've got an extra node in there, probably from the initial. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and delete that point. Um, I, my goal is always to have as few a points as possible. So anyway, now I can take that leaf design, use the repeat, and I think we decided that was about one point. Maybe I'll try six on that, apply that, and then um, I'll try 2.5, and I'll apply that. And I can even put um, another um, item in there, and maybe I'll even try 2.65, and let's see what that does. And I think that's going to make um, a very nice uh, pantograph on a quilt. So I don't actually really want to save that. I just wanted to see what it was going to look like. And so I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And now that I've got my design done, I can um, select it again. And I can add stitches. And I'm going to go ahead and do a stitch out. And I definitely wanted to do that to make sure that I didn't, uh, that I went up the correct side of each of the leaves as I was, uh, um, as I was doing that stitch out. And I did. So that looks good. So I can go ahead and do a save as, and I'm going to call that um, uh, leaf path. And I will save that. And now I can also um, go ahead and save that into my machine format and transfer it to my machine for a stitch out. Thanks so much for watching. For additional tips and techniques, please subscribe to my weekly newsletter at www.onpointquilter.com. And on my related blog posts this week, I will share a photo of the actual uh, vine used in this pattern. And you can use that for tracing both your path and your leaves.